Welcome back to the unofficial Squarespace Entrepreneur Podcast. My name is Omari Harriman, and if this is your first time listening, this show is all about building a business on Squarespace, uh, particularly businesses for the users of Squarespace as well. All right, I'm here with Mohammed, uh, the man behind Squarespace Starter. Um, and I invited Mohammed on the show today because he has started a, a new project, a new uh, venture that I think uh, most of us listeners can relate to, resonate with, and we might need one or two of his products or services. So um, I thought it would be great to have Mohammed on the show to introduce himself, uh, Squarespace Starter, and and what it's all about. So Mohammed, I'm going to give you a chance to uh, introduce yourself now. Thank you so much, Amory. Thank you so much for having me. So a little about myself. I started my journey with web design back in 2015. And I, I actually wanted to make some extra money to do, you know, some, uh, you know, I could overcome my expenses. But later I turned into, it, it did turn into a full-time business. And uh, my journey with Squarespace started back in 2018. And it was a 7.0 version era then. And I couldn't find, you know, good creators, good tutorials, good resources back back then. And there was not, a, you know, a, there were not too many people uh, creating good content about Squarespace. There were hardly any uh, tutorials back then. But I uh, I started my when I started my Squarespace journey, and uh, I thought there is a gap which needs to be fulfilled. And same occurred when, a, when Squarespace later transitioned to, you know, 7.1. And I had to, you know, uh, look into the resources online, but I couldn't find any. You know, there were some resources, there were, good, there were some good resources, but many of them were not focusing on the beginners. And uh, I thought that it would be good if there is a platform where beginners can find you know, the codes and some tutorials that would be helpful in their way forward as a designer. And uh, after the Fluid Editor was introduced, I thought it would be a great idea to move forward with this with this project, with this platform, where users can share their information and also can seek for the information. Nice. So, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a big undertaking um what what's your experience been like so far with let's say um you know managing all the different pieces to this puzzle right you've got content you've got tutorials yep. uh plugins etc how how yeah. are you how are you how are you managing everything does this um do you still do client work how are you balancing this whole thing yeah obviously it's it's, it's a bit of a headache but uh, i've got a good team and uh, they, they are very helpful. So uh, it, it's been like three months now and we are making good progress. We have launched our platform. We have written more than 50 blogs. We have done more than 20 tutorials. We also, you know, launched, we also published a few, few of our plugins as well. And we've also secured some sales, but there are more exciting things coming down the line. and. And uh, we are more focusing to t- in turning into a platform where people like you, like me, can come and write for the other Squarespacers and and help them in their journey. Interesting. So, um, platform is it? Would it be like on a Squarespace site or or off yeah. Squarespace? Yeah, it's going to be on Squarespace, and we where people can come and write to us that we want to share this this blog or this code or it can be anything. It could be their journey, or it could be their uh, you know the experiences with the Squarespace, and we will we will love to publish that on our platform so that it could be helpful for the other other Squarespaces who are looking for that information. Ah, uh, got it, got it. So. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, so, so a platform essentially where, um, it's it's user contributed, user based. Yeah. It's built around the, the the users versus, um, yeah. any specific personalities. Yeah. Cool. Essentially, run by Squarespacers for Squarespacers. What What were your What were your in, What was your inspiration along the way? Right. You 
you mentioned getting into the Squarespace realm around 2018 and uh, then with 7.1 coming on and Fluid Engine, that kind of prompting you to want to create something to, to fill a gap that you saw. Um, w- was there anything else that, that kind of said, okay, this is, this is a good idea or not a good idea? Like what, what was your decision-making process and, and inspiration? Yes. Yeah, so I was coming from the WordPress world, and you know the WordPress community is very big as compared to Squarespace. There are tons of you know creators, there are tons of blogs and stuff. And um, since anybody who's listening to this podcast and familiar about WordPress will know that there is a platform named WP Beginners. So that's some so that's sort of my inspiration for our platform. That's what we want to turn into essentially it is nice yeah i'm familiar with wp beginner not because uh not because i've done anything with wordpress but like you i've i've taken the same similar path of um looking what other other platforms do um uh, that can be ported over to to the squarespace world and uh, wp get wp beginner is definitely one of those as well um so like as far as uh your entrepreneurial journey right you mentioned in the beginning you you just wanted to make some some extra money on the side um now it sounds like you have a team uh assisting you as well how is that how's that growth been yeah it's 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 been a bumpy rise involved and it, it turned into it, it turned into something big in last two years, essentially. Mm-hmm. Before that, I was working individually as a solo panel, like many of us who are listening to this podcast. But then I essentially uh, collaborated with other other people, and I also hired a few designers who could help me. And that's what made Squarespace start as possible. I also could I was able able to find some good developers that have built our plugins. So, yeah, so that's what has made this possible. I would love to know your, uh, yeah, so what do you see? Uh, is there is there a need for a platform like this? Or do you think there, there isn't any space for that? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, um, I, I think there, there's always, there's always need for um, getting people acclimated with Squarespace. Um, I think that's we're we're all kind of in some variation of that business of what happens when a, a DIY customer runs into a roadblock or 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 hit or gets stuck in some way um that we can help them get unstuck. And uh obviously along that spectrum there are you know people with varying degrees of expertise and, and backgrounds and so forth. But like I said, there's there's always a need for uh the yeah. beginner stuff right um and so if that's if that's the the space you're occupying i think it's great um yeah. i'm i'm on the site now it's sqspstarter.com um and i'm looking at some of the plugins you've got a, a multi-currency extension uh yeah. a pop-up builder extension automatic table of contents uh automatic product description tabs some cool some cool plugins here uh some of these i've seen before elsewhere so i'd yeah. say with looking with this space i would try to get get the stuff that hasn't been gotten already <laughs> um yeah. or, or the solutions to problems that haven't been solved yet that's the that's the realm that is like always there's always gold mines and i find that I think your strategy of going about um, making it a, a user-based platform, I think, is great. And also, um, the more the more you're able to get people, you know, asking you questions specifically about specific types of customizations and tweaks, etc. Um, to to me, that's always where all the opportunity is because then you get stuff that that no one else cares about. <laughs> Yeah, I to- totally agree with that. I totally agree with you. Yeah, and moving forward, further down the line, we are recording tutorials and courses, essentially, which nice. would, many of them will be free, so that 
people who are starting out with their, you know, Squarespace journey, uh, obviously many of them are not, you know, ready to pay a huge amount of money for the courses. So they can look into our courses and essentially get them, you know, it will get them ready to start their Squarespace journey. So that's something we are currently working on, me with my team. So yeah, that's something I would uh, be, that's something we are also focusing on, yeah. So um, I'm curious, on on your, uh, on the work portfolio, there's a, there's a cool effect where I can scroll, you know, I can scroll through the, the, uh, the screenshot. Do you have a yeah. plugin for that? We don't have, yeah, but we can definitely. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, this is this is key. This would this is a great plugin for portfolio pages right here, um, if it doesn't exist already. Yeah, thank you so much for taking that into my, you know, putting that in, into my mind. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, man. This is what I do. Um, how are you liking Sendal? You're the first person I've seen you Sendal other than myself. Uh, in this community yeah so uh, essentially it's it's because uh, you know squarespace does not have a, an affiliate system of, of its own squarespace is isn't very good with, with, with you know the products and you know the digital products so i looked into many other solutions and essentially i i moved moved with the send all and i think it's it's the best solution for the plugins like uh, i'm i'm selling right now yeah, I mean, obviously, I agree. <laughs> I've been using Sendout uh, for like the past five years now, and uh, occasionally I think, should I should I switch or change? And I'm like, you know what? It's getting the job done, and it has all of the features and functionality yeah. that I need. I know a lot of people nowadays are are um, playing with different checkout systems like ThriveCart. Um, well, yeah. ThriveCart specifically, and as an affiliate for, um, you know, people who use a ThriveCart checkout, I've noticed that the uh, the conversions are a lot lower than other checkouts. And I don't know if it's just a ThriveCart thing because I would expect it to be better. But anyway, that's a side. I don't know if you have any uh, familiarity with those, but. Yep. So what's, I mean, you mentioned you've got some courses uh coming down the pipe um yep. and i'm I'm sure you're gonna be busy um what uh you know what advice could you give to our listeners who are maybe just like you were you know not too long ago um looking out at the market and saying hey there's there's something that i need that's not there um what, yep. what advice would you give to them yeah i think it's it's researching and finding and also connecting with the people who are, you know, who have pretty much the same mind as you have. That's that's the key. And creating a good team is is very important. Uh, it will, you know, eradicate your your headaches completely if you have a good team and people who you can trust upon. And I think that's these are a few keys in, in any business and uh, moving forward with, with, with any business that you are on, whether it's Squarespace or, or if, it's, if it's not, whether it's design business or it's uh, plugin business. Yeah, I think that's, these are the key things that, that, that I'm sure you will agree as well, yeah? Yeah, and, and on the note of like, you know, building your team, um, what, what did you do specifically? What, like, how did you hire people? How, how did you determine uh, what roles you needed to fill, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think it's 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 about uh, it's it's hit and try. I think you try different people and you find that they you cannot work with them or you can work with them. And uh, you know sometimes you hire somebody and and they're like a gold mine, and you're like you you're gonna you you're not gonna let them go. So right. I'm essentially looking for those kind of people. And I think these are these people are are very difficult to find as well. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, that's why when you find them, you got to keep them. Yeah, Mohammed, um, this has been great. Uh, you know, getting to know Squarespace Starter um, and yeah. what you've got going on. 
I'm, I'm very excited to see how this grows and develops. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely here to help and assist uh, any way that I can. Thank you so much, Amri. Thank you so much for having me and uh, letting me see what I wanted to hear. <laughs> no doubt, Mohammed. Um, this is another episode of the Unofficial Squarespace Entrepreneur Podcast. Thanks for listening.